Midday, the Sue Solo way on Atlanta's number one hip hop station, Hot 107.9. If we're going to talk about number one, we might as well talk about this artist right here. I'm talking about Young Blue from Mobile, Alabama. Hey, friend. What up? What up? What up? Do people always like mention Mobile? Do they ask you very specific questions about it? Uh, not really. To be honest, like I don't really, I really be feeling like people don't be interested in it for real. A lot of people don't be knowing I'm from from there for real. I thought that was so intriguing because I just mm-hmm. love. Mm. country men i love yeah. men from alabama mm-hmm. i love men from the south y'all just sure. y'all are just special y'all are creative yeah. y'all are masculine y'all are mm-hmm. hands-on but yep. you don't really see a lot of artists with like your type of wave come out mm-hmm. of anywhere mm-hmm. in alabama i would say so who mm-hmm. really inspired you to be young blue um i would say uh i mean i listened to all the other rappers and stuff that uh was coming out of uh the south for mm-hmm. real like it it wasn't no my sound really came from just being my sound. It wasn't nobody that was like kind of influencing my sound. Uh, uh, but you know, I used to listen to you know. I think of like Future was just coming out when I was in high school and stuff like that. So I definitely like used to love you know Future, Rich Homie, and them like that. And along with like a lot of old school hip hop and mm-hmm. stuff like that. Lauren Hill, the you know the Ke- Kelly, the um, you know stuff like that. Real music. Yeah, real music. Music that's such a soul. I, I love mm-hmm. it. So you actually took a music and a social media hiatus. Mm-hmm. I We all know as a celebrity, it is really hard for you guys to go through personal mm-hmm. things and keep them personal. So mm-hmm. we're not going to touch on that. I'm not yeah. that person. I'm glad uh-huh. that you made it through that. But yeah. I am hoping that mm-hmm. your creative juices were really flowing. Like during mm-hmm. this social media hiatus, and you say music hiatus, but does that mean mm-hmm. you weren't making music at all? Yeah, no, nah, I feel like music, uh, music hiatus is really just what people speculated to be because I I I was still making music. I was yeah. just like uh twenty twenty three I was more like I was building out my studio, my mm-hmm. label and stuff like that, getting some deals and stuff, uh, you know, together, doing like more like business stuff. You okay. know what I'm saying? Cause I was just going hard like, you know what I'm saying, five straight years. So I was just like, I'm gonna take this year like it coming. I I had to catch up on some of my business for it catch up with me, you yeah. know what I'm saying? So I just really just took twenty three. 2023 to just do that stuff okay that yeah. was a good point because you're you're now mm-hmm. independent mm-hmm. which is probably way different than being with a label yeah i've really been independent ever since you know what i'm saying you know i only was with a label like two two years for real like with a major label like two years in the beginning of my career okay you know so it's mean? been longer of your like professional career that you've actually been independent mm-hmm. yeah is- I, did, I did my biggest things independent yeah that's sure. wild so you have a new single confirmation out now mm-hmm. totally independent yeah. Give us mm-hmm. the makings of confirmation. Uh really confirmation was really just like me just saying like dang I've been gone from music for a little minute. Let me drop some. I just went to Miami, caught a vibe and just uh and just went and dropped it and just dropped a snippet. Snippet went up, went crazy. Um, dropped the song. It got like all the, you know, Apple playlists, R and B playlists picked it up and okay. it just started moving. I was just like, all right. I guess they, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I guess this the this this the one I'm going to push. But are you still shocked like when people receive mm-hmm. your music that way cuz I feel like everything you put out it is received very well cuz the way you yeah. just said the Apple Music thing was like you're shocked. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> cuz like I ain't really like never really just got a lot of like playlists like I ain't never had like you know a whole machine like pushing yeah. for me, you know what I'm saying at the at, like Air other artists get so yeah I'll be do do shock when I get certain looks okay. I'm used to my stuff like growing just from like people liking a song and mm-hmm. you know like an organic yeah growth. like an organic mm-hmm. I ain't really used to getting like a lot of big looks so when I do I be very appreciative though like yeah. I be you know yeah, for sure see that's why people from Alabama y'all just y'all always humble it doesn't matter how much you have you just know yeah. to be appreciative yeah, so sure. you have a new album coming out this year yeah do we have like a estimated day what can we look mm-hmm. forward to. Yeah, I'm I'm looking forward to spring. Like I definitely wanna I definitely wanna put it out by 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 this summer for sure. Okay. So mm-hmm. spring, summer. Mm-hmm. But we're really pushing for spring. Yeah. I'm definitely, I'm that definitely way, pushing you know, we have spring. time to get acclimated to the music. We can rock uh-huh. with it in the summertime. Uh huh. What is this uh Moon Boy University? Like I see in the notes a little bit of what it is, but I'd rather you tell the people yeah. what this is. So Moon Boy University is basically uh my label. Like it's my label, like Moon Boy was my first uh you know, almost platinum album. It's gold already going on platinum. It was my first album, so I feel like it was a, uh, you know, it was a, a staple in my career. So I called my label uh, Moonboy University, and it's basically like a big old, like, 
studio, resort style type studio for people to come book. We call it the campus. I got staff there. You know, we do, uh, we partner with some schools and stuff like that to give like music business credits and stuff like that. So it's like a, it's like a big kind of thing I'm doing, like community type thing. It's but like a along, compound. Yeah, it's like a compound, but it's, it's, it's mainly a studio, but we do so much other stuff because we got so much okay. other departments and stuff. So like people that. are booking the studios for like what mm-hmm. you would book a studio for, but mm-hmm. then within that, you guys mm-hmm. are like kind of giving back and working with the schools and giving mm-hmm. kids access. Yeah. Did you have access like that growing up? No, I did. I, I did. I ain't we ain't had nobody to you know do nothing like that for sure. So I definitely wanted to, you know, do yeah. that for sure. I think it's so beautiful that you're taking the opportunity to be for somebody mm-hmm. else what you could have needed when mm-hmm. you were young. I think that's absolutely beautiful. Yeah, sure. Can you tell everybody where they can find you? Is there a website? Do we have merch? What What's going on? Uh, MoonballUniversity.com. That's my uh, that's my label page. Uh, website. Uh, at Moonboy University. Uh, that's my uh, label page. And yeah, everybody got my Instagram. I don't really be on that, but I mean, Blue Van draws on Instagram. I ain't, I mean, I definitely went to Instagram, obviously, yeah, like before yeah. this interview. I was like, oh, let me go see what's going on. So mm-hmm. I was like, skimmed through there, and I was mm-hmm. like, oh, he really did clear his page. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. Like, yeah. ain't nothing here. Mm-hmm. It's like <laughs> it was very specific. Though. I, I can see why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You kept what you kept. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, yeah, the information. Information is all you need to know. Yeah. I just needed to know. I just, uh, I'm just grateful that I that I got it. So thank you so much for flying in and talking mm-hmm. to us. I know that you came all the way from the mm-hmm. West Coast, from mm-hmm. LA. Were you doing media out there? Um, no, nah, I'll just be out there recording sometime until my studio was done. So catching the vibe. So you mm-hmm. like to go from either LA or Miami for your vibe? Yeah, you saying Atlanta don't got the vibe? Huh? You saying Atlanta don't got nah, the vibe? Nah, I never really just hung out in Atlanta like that though. I be liking water and stuff. Like I be liking the water and stuff. There ain't nothing against Atlanta though. I love Atlanta, but I just. Be like in the water type of sun, the sun, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So yeah. It's kind of me. I get it. Thank you for coming in and talking yeah. to us. For sure. I'm looking Much forward love. to the new album. Thank you so much. No, for sure. Appreciate you.